Hi, I'm Larissa. I'm Lizelle. And I'm Andrew. And we're here to find out about Andrew's speaking. Now, you're a professional speaker, aren't you, Andrew? I am. And how did you get into that? Um, after my accident, I was seeing a lot of the local chemist, and he asked me to speak to his rotary group. And um, I, I had a need to explain to people that the challenge I was challenges that I was facing from this injury were a lot deeper than what most people saw on the surface. Um, you know, it was quite confronting, but I decided to do that and started learning from there. Got told that I could get paid to do this, and just started following down a route of doing things like attending the National Speakers Association meetings in Auckland, um, just basically investing in myself towards that goal. Uh -huh. And so, when did you first start speaking professionally? Uh, the first paid gigs were probably like five or six years ago, mm -hmm. and since then it's yeah, you know, there's just been more and more paid gigs, more and more people hear about me and what I can do, and the phone rings more. Yeah, I went to one of the events where Andrew was a speaker, it was for the Mangatoki ladies some mm -hmm. time ago, and I was really amazed um, about the speech that Andrew gave because he puts a lot of emotion mm -hmm. in his, into his speech. Sure does. <laughs> yeah, and I could see, I could really feel myself also um, warming up to the speech and I wanted to get to know Andrew a little bit better because he was a he's a very positive person um, that brings it across so well and he talks about his experience as if it was nothing because he went mm -hmm. through all this these things and at the end of the day um, he changed his life completely into being mm -hmm. so positive like he owns his own rental properties um, and it was he's really like inspiration for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah I've heard Andrew speak as well, and yeah, it's really cool. He just lets you know every little bit sort of thing, and it's amazing the different reactions of people. Like for me, when I've heard, um, people are just so quiet with some parts of the speech, and you couldn't hear a pin drop kind of thing. Mm. And other times you hear a bit of laughter, which is good. And what do you... It Very just simple. to me it feels like um, like you're saying when it becomes quiet it's like Andrew takes their breath away because yeah. you literally sit there and yeah. you're taking in all this information which is so it's astounding in a sense and then you see this comeback where this mm. man was taken down everything he lost a lot of things in his life yeah. and then all of a sudden he comes out positive again yeah. so yeah that was really a good transformation to see how you put things together into your yeah. life Andrew. Mm. Mm. Yeah. but that's the choice we all have mm. no matter what goes on in yeah. our lives mm. if you can get your head around the fact that you have a choice mm. and keep looking forward i can talk about little bits of hope you yeah. may not be able to see the answer but if you can find some hope to hang on to that will lead mm -hmm. you a bit further down the path and you will maybe you're at a different vantage point by then and you can see yeah. a different view yeah. And so most of the challenges that I got over were very much like that. And I think you could say the same, Larissa, with going mm. blind. Yeah. Like you speak a lot about resilience, don't you? And yep. how to stay safe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like whether I'm speaking to insurance companies or the health and safety industry or just general motivation, um, a lot of it comes back to how you overcame your challenges mm. because... If you confront people with what the challenges are, they can f often figure a way over it or yep. use your example of how you overcame your mm -hmm. challenges to get True. over it. And everyone has challenges, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah. 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 And Andrew and I, we were talking about um, different tools that people use to attain their goals. And we've been talking about um, creating, for example, a document where you can tick off some mm -hmm. things that you have. If you want to attain a goal, make a list of it. Um, jot it down, have it visually in front of you and if you have it there you are reminded mm -hmm. daily of it and um, do you use that in your coaching tools as well for people that you coach? Yeah, the, yeah. so co co coaching clients work through a series of modules um, mm -hmm. and there's always a sort of goal summary at the end yeah. about what they've learned out of that module to move on and mm -hmm. discuss with me in one-on-one -on -one coaching. So. so you're a life coach as well? That's 
Yeah. So yeah. So there's a lot to hear about, eh? So yeah. Yeah. So maybe I think people should just tune into other blogs and yep, learn a whole lot more. Yep. Okay. See you next week. See ya. See ya.